Oh, hello. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you. Hello to Sweden. Hi, Michelle. Mitchell. No, wait. Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> I am. Yeah. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I got to start my, when I first did the timing, I thought it was like, I had a lot of time, but then I was like, oh, oh, just like that. How do you guys like my onesie? Right? Look at my butt. <laughs> and then um, on the back, it says, it's so funny. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Let me see. Wait, can you see it? <laughs> it says, uh, what is it? Junk food apocalypse. <laughs> my new laugh so we did good right we did good we're like we're we're like finishing up the baby right now I love these so much they're like they're pretty expensive though but I was like I saw them and I was like oh my god like I need to get one of those and I tend to get things multiple things when I really like them and I start hoarding them. Although I couldn't really hoard these because they are, like I said, more expensive, but I got my three favorite ones that they sell. And, uh, yeah, so now I have three of them and I'm like, I literally live in onesies and they're not as hot as my fuzzy ones. Cause I wear my fuzzy ones too, but it's not, it's been like pretty warm here. Hey Taylor. It's been pretty warm here, so um, I haven't been wearing, like, the, the big fuzzy ones. Niagara Falls, Canada. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me see here. So this is the one that we have been working on. And I was working on Little Heads last night. So yesterday, yeah, I was making these ones, and... I made a lot. I was just like painting and painting and painting and I was like, okay, okay. And I kind of wanted to put color on this one, but I never did because I find that this, I find that when they're at this stage, it's like my brain kind of rationalizes everything and it's like, okay, what do I want it to look like? What, like, is it going to be a monster baby? Is it going to be a regular baby? And then sometimes like even though I've been painting for years and years, sometimes I get confused on where I should start. Like, I don't know. That's the only way I can explain it. So I was like, Meh. and then once I jump in, I, it's fine. And it's like at the, like the third and the fourth layer, I start really getting into it, but it's like to get to that point, you know, like get that momentum. Okay. So let me see this little baby, this little baby. There we go. There's an arm. Here's a leg. Look at that. You have an arm and a leg. High five. Oh, wait. High five, I mean. I just high fived it in the forehead. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, boy, these, uh, these live videos must be doing, must be keeping people company because my sub count has been going up like crazy and I was like oh sweet <laughs> sweet so sweet okay so let me see here I didn't even clean my brushes yet what a slobber knocker you are being hello to Scotland Shetland Scotland that was funny that we had three 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 a record it's like I just broke a Scotland record over here I know look at that not only am I an artist but I'm also a record breaker <laughs> all righty so yeah three I know I was so impressed I told my husband too I was like oh guess what I did <laughs> 
So this is a onesie. It's actually like a full outfit. <laughs> I love onesies. I do. I just like, I freaking love them. I love them. I love you. I love you. Okay. I love you. I freaking love you. Onesie. <laughs> so we're going to finish up this baby here. Uh, I get it from uh, Etsy. He, it comes from Bulgaria. Um, they ship really fast too. I think it's like, what the heck is it called? Um, I forget what it's called, but the hood is amazing. Oh wait, look at the names on the hood. What? Look at, oh wait, can you see it? Wait, does it go this way? No, it definitely goes this way. But they're on Etsy. What's that? Oh my God, it has an eyeball. Look at you guys, it has an eyeball right on my hood. What? I just got myself a onesie romper, but it's all black and as soon as I got it, I ordered two more and I've decided it's not, it's not my uniform because I'm a lazy, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's on, it's on Etsy and they have um, some just really freaking cool clothes on there. Like their prints are so amazing. Yeah, I tend now my uniform. Okay, that's what I thought you meant. I was like, yeah, exactly. I literally just said that to my husband. I was like, I could justify buying these because I literally wear them. And I feel like people appreciate when I wear stuff like this. So I always wonder if my kids get embarrassed going out in public in one like, you know, onesies with me. But literally it does. They're just like, this is my mom. You know? You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to commit. <laughs> you just got to commit to what's happening. Okay. So let's seal up this baby. And I'm going to seal it up um, with a green. With a green. With a green. It's literally before the pandemic I was wearing it too. <laughs> There you go. I need to change my cloth soon. Okay. Yeah, so anyways, my my uh, closet is like full of, like not these specifically, but um, <clears throat> of onesies, furry onesies. And I'm so sad because like my husband's like, oh, you gotta, uh, you, you have to, you have too many, blah, blah, blah. But I wear them so much that a couple, and I'm I'm like, I choose specific ones for specific days. <laughs> like some are zipper, some are buttons, some are really thick and some are thinner. So it's like, you know, they have their own little date of when they can come out and play. It's like their special day. Yeah, to be on my body. And anyways, there's a couple of them that I have that are like the zipper is broken. And then I ha I don't want to get rid of them. So I just put like hair clips like up my body. <laughs> what? Come on. I know you guys do too. Don't lie. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to use some lemon, some lemon zest right here. Everybody likes some zest put into a baby, right? Zest that little sucker up. <laughs> oh boy. I do that with one of my flannels. Yeah, it's sort of like blankets, you know? There's like certain ones for certain days. I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to add some uh let me see so i'm gonna use a glazing gel yep it's your special day right now glazing gel yeah get excited get excited i love glazing gel so good tastes like Tastes like donut glaze. Just kidding, it doesn't. Children don't try it at home. But you know what? 
had a random hair in there. It's okay. Fixed it. Okay, so this is going to make the mixture thicker and not so green because it's it makes glazing gel and glazing medium makes it like opaque. Wait, maybe it's not opaque. I always forget like what the what the thing is. You know what I mean? The opposite. I'm usually the opposite. Yep, yep, it's looking delicious. It is looking delicious, you guys. I don't know what this would be if it was a food, though. I, I feel like maybe this would be on my junk food apocalypse, right? Come on now, chunks. Get all in smoothed out for me now. Stop being difficult. Okay, this looks like my smoothie that I just drank like 10 minutes ago. Oh, yep. My esophagus loves it. Oh, let me see. Where the heck is my... Oh, <laughs> just kidding. Here it is. Oof. Put that fan on me a little bit more. Ugh. My sock. I just wheeled over my sock. It's okay, I escaped. Escaped it, you guys. I'm gonna put a little bit of Genesis thinner in there. Help break down those chunks of, I don't know what's in there, chunks of something. I don't know what this paint ate, but it's pretty chunky. Yup. There we go. Now, I only have a quarter of this left and I feel like I should have another whole other thing. But if I don't, I'm gonna have to smack myself in the face. Let me see, do I? I better, I freaking better. Oh, yeah, look at that. Bam. I was gonna say, if I have to order it in, I'm not gonna be happy. I hate that. I hate running. I make sure that I don't run out of anything. I just do not like running out of stuff. It just is like, it's my dysfunction. It's one of my dysfunctions. Just add it to my dysfunction list, you guys. Boom. Okay. So I do want to brighten this up, make a sofa for a cat, but I'm wanting to make them for my five chihuahuas. They are too funny. Chihuahua, you have five chihuahuas? Whoa, you have like a little like chihuahua gang over there. My sister has a chihuahua. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, Bean, how the heck are you? Hello, how the heck are you? <laughs> uh, and a bulldog black lab, he is the baby. <laughs> good I'm glad you guys are good like I don't know why I made such a mess right here what the freaking heck Ugh, yeah I know my big dog she's a baby she's scared of so many things like I don't know what why she was like we got her at like six weeks old and I think it's just the breed honestly like they're just a little bit god look what I just did you guys I just slobber knockered all over my counter what the heck? More of a like a record. We'll just kind of what just happened. My internet, come back. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm still here. Why do I have a big? I have like a circle going on. <laughs> it's literally just like, like over and over. Like, I don't even know why. That is so weird. Okay, thank you. Because I was like, oh no, don't stop it. And then I'd be all kinds of. <laughs> okay, so let me see what this green looks like. 
And let me see here. To open my window because ugh, I gotta open it a little bit more. Get some wind going. <laughs> you, I still actually have the circle just going on, like it, on my phone. It's bizarre. Like I don't even know why it's doing that. <laughs> because it's me, right? So as you can see, it's not going on like super green, but it it, it will it will slightly pale up the the pink color in the slightest in the slightest of ways and I will put it on the hands as well I still I still like the painting with socks on <laughs> I'm so I'm so easily amused that way I'm gonna take some of this off though because Sometimes you can brush it on and then just use a brush, like a, I use these brushes, which I really like. Why is this thing still, I, I don't know why it's on there. <laughs> so after I take some of it off, then I'll kind of just go along, go along the um, skin just so it get gives some sort of texture, but um, the glazing gel, if you use, I can show you guys after because I might, I'll probably put some on the face, but I don't want to put any on the face just yet because a lot of the time I will paint, I'll seal it and then I'll paint the hair. And then once the hair is painted, then I'll go through and uh, use the glazing gel. And the formula that I use is glazing gel with uh, Genesis thinner and satin varnish and you make it to a pretty thick consistency and then you would put it on with like a really rough um, a really rough brush which I don't even know if I have any but or you can you can also brush it on and then use these these but then you don't really I don't really like doing that because then it gets all over here and I hate getting these wet hold on you guys oh boom we're back can you guys see me because the, the circle stopped now so that's probably a good thing as I'm explaining away and then it just shuts off <laughs> um yay thank goodness for that okay so anyway, let me change my brush. I like, I don't know why I didn't put it on with a flat brush to begin with, but um, okay. So let me, let me get back to the whole dewy skin thing. So if you want like a newborn, um, like a rougher face, but a rougher face, <laughs> nice way to explain things being nice. It's just great. Okay. It's, just, it's okay. It's okay. They know me. They know, they know my language. Yeah, so it it just, the texture is really cool looking, like super cool looking. But I won't do that until after I paint the hair because I paint the hair a few layers and if you put that on and then you bake it and bake it and bake it, it'll go shiny. So usually the last, like that last part, I'll just, I'll just do like, just so it cures, like I'll bake it. I usually bake it like three, maybe about three times altogether. But I mean, when I'm doing the hair, I, I bake it. So it'll be baked like seven, eight times. And so, yeah, I don't wanna, that'll just screw it up. So yeah, and then you'll look like this right here when you come out. Oddly enough, I have gingerbread men that look like that on my fridge that somebody sculpted and poured and they have like a bite out of it out of its head. It's freaking awesome. I love it. Um, I love all, all my reborns, but just bought a reborn cuddle baby and oh my God, she is amazing to hold and cuddle. Yeah. Isn't it crazy? I finally, I knew about cuddle babies for like the longest time and then 
Um, let's see. I, yeah, I knew about them for the longest time. And finally, for the first time, I held one at the doll show, at Rose Show, actually. And I was like, oh my God, like they feel so real. It's crazy. I really want to, um, I've been wanting to make a couple of those, but I kind of put like a twist on mine, you know, with the whole beanstalk bud. But I would like to make the cuddle baby because it feels so awesome it really does if you guys haven't held one wow you just have to make sure that they're weighted the one that I held she was like amazing artist and she weighted it perfectly it's crazy how awesome they feel actually oh man I just want I just want them to give me a baby like what the F you guys <laughs> Where's my babies? But then I think to myself, uh, let's see, I haven't held one, but I have sewing patterns for cuddle bodies. They are worth feeling, in my opinion. But I mean, there's like, you know, silicone babies, which when I started the industry, there wasn't, there wasn't a whole lot of silicone babies. Um, the first one that I saw ever and held was at the Downey's Doll Show. Let's see, Tammy, I have a beanstalk bud, the mint green bunny you sold at IAC, and that's what got me wanting a cuddle baby. Well, the cuddle babies are even more heavy. They're, they're like, I don't know, like five pounds maybe? It's pretty, they're pretty cool. I live in Shetland. I can hold one. I'm a tiny island in the middle of nowhere, LOL, in isolation. Yeah. Are you on Shutter Island? <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. You're not a crazy, are you? I mean, I feel like I should live on Shutter, Shutter Island. <laughs> That's such a good movie. It's like a psychological thriller. Oh, I love those. Ah, oh, raining heads. Okay, let me get some of these out of the way. Uh, so yeah, I freaking like, I want them to give me a baby, but at the same time, at the same time, I have way more energy and to like, just to, cause I'm not up all night long with the baby. Although, I mean, they're not up all night long, but it's definitely a, a system and schedule you have to get used to. And so I'll, I think to myself, like, wow, it's, like oh I can get up and I can pick what kid I want to work on and I can make live videos and just I have more more time um and also my husband's off work like I was saying so he's lightened lightened the load for me which is another reason why I'm able to jump on here so it's been it's been good I like it I like it <laughs> yeah IAC show what can I say about that oof oof it's the only thing I can say about it but I love the rose shows like my favorite I freaking love going so much I love seeing everybody and just going and having a good time always what I'm concerned about and it's better it is so much better when I like distance myself from certain individuals because then it allows me to like talk to everybody and not be super I don't know I'm just like I just I just love going yeah uh Bedinka is the shop for crazy onesies that's what it is Barf is all I can say about, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, that's what it's called. Yes, 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 yes. And I don't know what that word means, but I'm about to make a G-string for this baby. Except for a G-string, I think it probably goes the other way, but it's okay. We're not gonna judge him. 
No judgment here, right? No judgment. Yeah, they have um, like, they have like really tight ones too. Um, the ones he's not G-string. I mean, they probably do. <laughs> but where did your other awesome sticker go? Like, what the heck? You made it specially for you and you're just gonna throw it away? What the heck? Oh, now we have to get really creative with these. Um, yeah, I love going to the Rose Show and I really love the Pratt's. And I do think that they're really, really great people. And that's just my personal opinion about it. Um, and, you know, like, Anne, she's like, so like, she's so nice. And she was, she's always like on the ball. And I don't know, I just, it's good. It is good. I have never been to a doll show. I hope to go to one day in the UK, one, but it canceled this year, so they are doing it on, oh, an online one. Bean, do you have a big collection of Reborns? Have you collected? I do not. Um, I, I don't, but I have a few. I have like three, one, let's see, so. trying to think of who is up there so I have one that I made my mom hello hello I'm I made my mom one like years and years and years ago and I have her she's in like my glass case um and she is the Bethany kit by the cradle so I made I have her I have a doll that I've had for god I've had them forever I think my soonest doll or like my youngest doll is my sweet potato pie baby and which is LaDonna Briggs and she sent me that doll and I love it. I wanted her work so badly. I love her work and I've seen her grow like crazy as an artist as well. Like I just really appreciate I appreciate her style and her artwork and you can recognize it and I just love when you can recognize the artist's work you know what i mean because it's like oof, oof. and then i have a little chicks baby which is a prototype um i actually have two little chicks babies uh one is i don't know if the other one the other one i got secondhand but i can't i can't remember anyways it's chick hollis um for you guys that are newer she is a fine artist and she's like oh my gosh her work is amazing and i have the ev kit <clears throat> which <clears throat> excuse me like i said which is a prototype she also coincidentally is a cradle kit which i actually don't like painting because i think the vinyl is so difficult i think that they're cute and obviously like the sculptor is very talented i'm not saying anything about the way that they sculpt i think that they're amazing painters and sculptors and artists but i just prefer to not paint that vinyl and i don't know if it's those um yeah i know she's so inspiring i love her she's so nice and rose was so busy i couldn't even like go and talk to her or anything i was pretty bummed about that but um <clears throat> yeah so anyways the cradle I, so I mean, they're quite old, the ones that I have. So I wonder, I'm, I'm curious to know if they produce it in new, the new vinyl. Whoa, whoa, baby. Easy now. You know what I mean? And now I'm curious about it. Hmm. Who can I ask? Oh, but you know what? You, you want to know something super, super fun and amazing? I'm doing a tutorial and it's actually going to be, it's going to be, um, ugh. you guys, my mouth tastes disgusting and I don't even know why it's like all of a sudden it's like, 
Mm. I have a LaDonna's Mason prototype Mason. Um, near and far reborn Mason. Remind me who Mason is. Loving her painting. Yeah, Mason. Oh. Is that a, uh, you have to remind me, is that a bountiful, I know that she's doing a lot of prototypes right now, and I have to say, it takes a special someone to do that, like, it's, I love prototypes, but I have a hard time committing to them, just because um, I'm busy, I'm just a busy person, so I do have trouble um, committing, committing to them, that's the only thing, but... Um, okay, so that's done. So I'm going to seal up this face. Stir the paint. She has a pro, she had a prototype on eBay the other day, the yawning baby. And I wanted it so badly because I have a yawning baby. That's, that's my little chick's baby. And she was affordable normally her dolls like i've seen them go for like thousands of dollars they're very realistic looking um chick hollis little chicks nursery i don't think she's making dolls anymore because she's just was concentrating like on her family and everything and uh yeah so she's a yawning baby and i feel i feel like at that point it, it the expression is so drastic a lot of people didn't want it you know what i mean they're like yawning baby uh I mean, she's old. I, she's probably like eight, nine, eight years old, maybe. I think eight. He's a preemie. Oh, okay. Mason. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. Alrighty. And like I said, sealing this up, um, I sometimes you can brush it on and then just use this kind of brush. But because I'm going to be painting hair, I don't, I'm taking a lot of it back off because if you have a lot on there and you're baking, 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 it's going to go really, really shiny. And I do not want it to go shiny. And on the hands, I have this one medium that I got from McPherson's. It is so cool. I just, I got it not too, too long ago and it's actually for an air dry, but I do use it on, I used it on some newborn hands and it makes it, you know, when, you know, when babies come out and they're like, some are like wet and shiny, but if they've been in the warmer, they, their skin isn't shiny. It goes almost like a, it just goes like really matte and like just really matte looking. And so I was using this medium. I'll show you. It's super cool. Um, if I can find it. Where did you go, you little stinker? Freaking medium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come out. Come out, come out wherever you are. Mm. Where is it? What the heck? Um, oh yeah, and I've been using this for making wigs. It's a McPherson's Ultimate Rooting Glue. It, <laughs> it is so awesome to use when you're making wigs. Like, makes my jobs a million times easier. Where the heck is it, you guys? You guys, where is it? Did you eat it? Tell me. <laughs> it has got to be down here. Oh, here it is. Oh yeah, I was thinking that it was a big jar, but it's actually a little one. Okay, so it is, focus, focus, focus. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, it's Reborn FX Ultra Matte Varnish. This is an air dry. Oh, no. So... Anyway, this is an air dry and when you finish the doll and you put this over the hands, it makes it all like, it's just like super matte and real looking. It's, it's crazy. I really like it. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, air dry, finally. Okay, let me stick this. Actually, I need to paint his junk really quickly here. And then we're gonna put him in the oven so we can... Let's see, do the... Um... Yeah, at least, cause I bake it twice. So sometimes so it takes kind of a longer, a longer time to cure it and then cool it down. And then I think from there, see the problem is, is I don't, whoa, whoa, holy cow, he just flashed you. The problem is, is I don't want to over paint it, which is sometimes I do tend to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go throw this baby. I'm going to go throw this baby. Going to throw it. <laughs> Whoa, you need, to, you need to stop flashing people around here, okay? Call you Flasher. Flash, right? We should call him Flash. That should be his name. scared the shit out of me, you guys. There you go. There's your bed. <laughs> okay. Whew. Let me see here. Heard you scream and laugh so hard. My husband jumped out of the around the corner and scared me and then laughed. But you know what? Payback is a bitch. Uh, that was a proper scream when your dog started barking. So my, my dog started barking. <laughs> it's like a chain reaction. Um, let me see. Okay, so let's see. What should we paint? Well, I feel like let's do a layer on this one. We haven't painted this one in a while, right? The Ethan kit. So cute. Let me see here. So the eyes, my dog growled and looked up. You made everybody's dog start barking. <laughs> no, you. Oh man, I glued these eyes in because I was going to say I wanted to swap out the eyes, but. But whatevs. Okay. So obviously this baby needs eyebrows. And I'm thinking. I could probably do a. Maybe we could do a, hmm. The arms look really small compared to Ed's head, I feel like. It's so cute though. Um, let's do a pink. What kits are your beanstalk buds? They have such cute faces. They're all bountiful baby kits. I, I literally, I wake up and go straight to their website <laughs> and see what the kit of the day is so I can buy it. Because um, there's certain ones, <coughs> excuse me, there's certain ones that 
that I really like using that fit perfectly and it, it has to be like the smaller the smaller one so I'm like I'm waiting very patiently for uh um 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 um, um. I can miles miles is one of my favorite <clears throat> and actually um bountiful baby De well Denise and then sent me two miles for my birthday and and toilet paper <laughs> and masks did I tell you I have a box opening but I don't think I uploaded it yeah I'm pretty sure I didn't upload it yet um yeah, freaking toilet paper rolls and this beautiful card. Like the card is so amazing. And uh, everybody signed it. And then it's just, the masks, toilet paper, um, had little butterflies. And then my favorite, my favorite kit, Miles. And yeah, it was, it was funny. Let me show you the card. Let me just wheel right over here, just like that. <laughs> 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 you guys, I just did my exercises for the day. So here's my card. And it says, wishing you a magical 40th happy birthday, Shanine. And then look at the inside of it. Is that not the most wicked? I, I will literally cherish this forever. And it says, happy birthday, Bean. Like unicorns and rainbows and bright stars and sprinkles, may your birthday <laughs> be so happy that it shines and twinkles. Let the glitter, the sparkles all through your veins bring you love and warmth until we see you again. A big happy 40th birthday to the most awesome unicorn ever with love from Bountiful Baby. <laughs> I, oh, I love this so much. Like, so much. I just like, I literally will cherish it forever. Let me put it up there. There we go. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I freaking love it. I love it. I was like, oh, but yeah. So my whole point spiel of that was that, um, I'm waiting for the miles kit to go 48. God, I feel like I'm 12. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Let's try it out on the hand though, shall we? I feel like, hmm, let me see here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay. I have a couple customs that I have to work on as well. This is not a custom. This is just one that I'm going to make. And the other ones are hanging up that are custom. So I definitely need to, a lot of April babies. Mine was the fifth. Happy birthday. Yep, mine was supposed to be spent in Caribbean sand. <laughs> but you know what? I'm here with you guys. So it all worked out. Yeah, that's better. Put a little life back in those limbs. This is a fantasy baby and one that I've never made before. Ooh, are you excited? Are you intrigued? Oh. Baby's finished baking. Can you <coughs> can you open the ovens for me, please? Okay. So, um, yeah, the whole, like, I don't, un I honestly, like, I don't understand people who, how am I going to say this without <laughs> insulting people? 
Like, I have no beef whatsoever with Bountiful Baby. Um, I mean, I don't, I just don't, and not, not with any of the, I just don't have a, I don't know, just like, no. But I think that if you have an issue with people and you're very adamant about not supporting a company, not, you know, buying stuff from them and like to a point to where you're throwing stuff away. I, I don't, the, the part that I don't understand is if you're so adamant about that and so passionate about not supporting a company where you are throwing supplies out from them and saying no more customs from their kits or blah, blah, blah. Huh? Oh, that must be for the kids. Um, why, why would you take uh, something that is made from a Bountiful Baby kit and sell it as, or take it as a donation and sell it? Like what? Do you guys understand that logic? Tell you what, I am super stubborn and if I was very adamant about that, I would not have any, any part of it, right? Go big or go home. And I really want to look inside their warehouse. <laughs> such a waste. Yeah. Well, it is such a waste, but if, it, if you're doing something so drastic, like, so like I'm making a point by doing this, then how is it, how does it make sense to take from other people and, and sell it, right? That's their product. I mean, I feel like it's that, I don't understand that part. I don't understand. But I had, I loved looking inside McPherson's store and honestly, like, I can't wait for next year's rose because I'm really hoping that I can go look in their store too. <laughs> I didn't think those people have a lot of sense to be honest. Uh, let me back up here. Oh yeah, bowling, you definitely don't want to do that right now. Me either, such a waste and frankly, very childish to throw things out. I don't think those people have a lot of sense. Yeah, it's like, ooh, to even like, I have such a thing for my reborn kids. <laughs> like, I, it's a sickness. <laughs> like, seriously, it is such a sickness. And I just couldn't, I brought, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I did that. I would be like getting up in the middle of the night, like, where are you? You know, dumpster diving. <laughs> tell you what, if I was close, I would have went dump dumpster diving. I would not be ashamed of doing that. I would have been like, bedtime? Okay. Dumpster diving time. Free kits. <laughs> right? I totally would. No shame. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Mine, 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 mine. Yeah, I would be so, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me. I would be so interested in what the Bountiful Baby warehouse looks like. Like I love seeing stuff like that and doing stuff like that. I just would like where they take photo, like, they take photos and um, then where like the actual warehouse is and then there's like the business, like the, I don't know if it's like an upstairs or what, but I'm telling ya, I'm like, oof. Me likey. Like if there was an apocalypse, I would definitely want to be stuck there. <laughs> right? Just let me be stuck in a in a reborn warehouse. It'd be all good. 
I mean, they have lots of toilet paper too, so they have us covered, right? Yeah, they have our back. <laughs> Friggin' apocalypse is happening. Hey, let me in. <laughs> Dog. Let me in, it's a bean. <laughs> <laughs> my dog. <laughs> yep. Forrest Gump run straight to Bountiful Baby. <laughs> it's okay, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here to protect you guys. Just kidding. Let me paint all your kids. I wonder how many they have like how many they actually have in their warehouse right now. Like, I'm curious, like I have so many questions, just like Scotland with the island and the sheep. Like, I hear it, but I'm, I'm just like so interested <laughs> in the information. To see all of it take place, that's just, oh my God, that would be so fun. And plus they have a bob too. And it's funny because I was talking, uh, this one day, Denise was like, oh God, what did she say about Bob? Go beat up Bob. But I was like, yeah, you, um, uh, that's how you can relieve stress is go beat up Bob. And I was like, yep, yeah, go beat on him for about five minutes, 10 minutes and you feel so much better. But she didn't realize that I actually also have a Bob, which is like that, that, um, you know, like the guy with the black, Base and you can like, he's like a punching bag, but he's made out of this material that's kind of squishy. I don't know how else to, to say it, but um, it's so funny because we actually have a Bob upstairs. <laughs> the kids dress him up. Sometimes he scares the crap out of me too because I forget that he's up there. But if you have to relieve any kind of stress, go beat up Bob. <laughs> totally helps. Oh my goodness, it's funny. Like so random, right? Because like how many people actually have that? <laughs> oh man, we do. So this is a fantasy baby. You should post a picture next time they dress him up. I'll do, I will do that. Yeah, the kids used to stand in a lineup and we used to have like take turns of punching Bob in the face and just beat him up and I would time the kids and I'd be like, okay, hey, ready, set, go. And then they'd like, they'd be like, ooh, 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 like so fast, just beating him up. <laughs> they take their shirts off and then like start again. Oh my God, I have way too many boys over here. Okay, so I'm going to, let me put some I think I'm going to put some eyebrows on this baby. Hmm, what color eyebrows should I do? White? Hmm. Hmm, let me think. Let my brain... It's okay, I just wipe my, my mouth on this. Um, I think I'm going to do like a, like a, maybe not a white, but like a, I'm going to start with a lighter, with a lighter color. Let me see here. I could do a light brown. I don't, I don't know if I've used a light brown before. Um, let me see. What color? Um, let's do this one. How's this? How's that one? See how this works out, shall we? Wow, I use this color a lot. <laughs> I think that's one that I bought twice and I was like, why the F did I even buy that? It's like, I don't even like use that color. I'm unsure. I'm unsure why I did that, people, but it's okay. We're going to use it right now. Okay. 
Okay. Alrighty, let's see if the eyebrow gods are looking down on us right now. Look at what it just did. Dipped its head right in the paint. What a naughty baby. Okay. Let me see. This might not be dark enough. Well, I mean, I don't really want it. Mm. See. See what the darker color looks like. Let me see. Sort of. I like it. Okay, now let's see if I can do the same thing on the other side. That's the that's the trick. <laughs> Trying to make a match. I just painted two completely different kinds of eyebrows. One is on the bottom and the other one is on the top. <laughs> Way to go, Bean. Way to freaking go. Okay, that works. You know what? This is just no. Okay, I'm going to start again. And That's better. I wanted to use, make them more like not as far up. So starting like a little bit further back.
is a <clears throat> better expression but I'll still add like darker color into it to bring it make it more 3d but this is basically the shape Okay. See a little bit better when the light is off for the eyebrows so it's not so shiny. Yeah, I think the br I was going to do white but then I was like, eh, "I'll do I'll do the darker color." And I feel like this baby is going to probably have to have painted eyelashes because its eyes are so, actually, no, I could probably root, actually, I could probably root these. I'm going to darken them up though, slightly, in the slightest of ways, in the slightest of ways. Yep. Where's my black? Here it is. <laughs> so this baby, finally, I'm finally finishing it. Yay. And, but the other part of it, which is like the fantasy part, is probably, it's going to be a little more difficult to do. I feel like maybe this is. Do this without touching the eyebrows. I'll be sad if I do that. I hate when I do that. Okay, there's one.
<laughs> You're just so cute. Oh my goodness, look at. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so this baby is ready to be baked. Um, and then probably from there, I would just do like a, a sealer, kind of lock in that color and then decide after it's sealed where I would want to go from that, from there. Sometimes that happens. And then, um, yeah, so my other baby, I have to bake again. It's probably cooled. And then once that's all done, I think that um, I'll start the hair, or at least the shading on the head. And then, um, yeah, and then I have, God, I have a, to do some rooting today. So I'll do that. And then hopefully, yeah, I don't know. I got a big chunk of it done though. So, <laughs> right? Look at, it. <laughs> so awesome. Let me see. Okay, how do you keep your paint from separating and so creamy looking? Um, so this has a medium in it. So if you when you use washes, you just use the color and the thinner. But with where it's thicker, you would use. Um, I sealed up the other baby with this, which is a glazing gel, Genesis thinner, thinner and paint. Oh, and linseed oil. So as long as you the, your mix it properly. Um, it should go on like, it should go on like that. And then it'll have like a, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it take it also takes away, if you have a lot of paint on your doll, it's going to make it not um, chalky, which is important because then the paint isn't curing properly. So generally after you're done, you want to seal it because the more people touch it, the more shiny it'll go and then it won't cure properly. And everything so it's always a good idea to to um seal seal it up or 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 see seal it just like that okay you guys i'm gonna go thank you for hanging out with me again i'm so lucky I'm so lucky i'm so lucky you guys I'm so lucky that you're here with me um but yeah so i'm gonna finish up this baby and then hopefully start hair for you guys tomorrow so we'll see we'll see how it goes but you guys enjoy your day and i will see you in my next video Bye.